Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet the Brecken bag. The Brecken bag is an easy crochet bag that's perfect for carrying around your yarn and your whip when you're on the go. We're going to use bulky five weight yarn to create a sturdy bag that works up quick. We're also only using basic crochet stitches so this pattern is beginner friendly. The finished size is about 14 inches wide and 12 inches tall, not including the handles. The handles add about eight more inches in length, but they can be customized to be any length that you'd like. If you missed it, I shared the video tutorial for the Brecken basket a few weeks ago. It features a lot of the same design aspects as the bag, but it's a basket for your home. So if you enjoy this pattern, I'll leave a link below for the basket if you'd like to check that out. If you want to follow along with the free written pattern for the Brecken bag, it can be found on the Clover USA blog, or you can find the printable PDF version in my Etsy shop and on Ravelry. I'll leave links to all of those down below. If you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making. For today's tutorial, you're gonna need bulky five weight yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Yarns Hue and Me, and I'm gonna be using three colors. For my main color, I'm gonna be using mustard yellow, and then for my stripes, I'm gonna be using black and white. Feel free to use as many or as few colors as you'd like though. We're also gonna need an eight millimeter or L hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. We're gonna start with color A and we're gonna begin by making a magic circle. So take the tail end of your yarn and wrap it around your pointer finger and your middle finger. When you bring around for a second time, bring it to the back of your hand. Take your hook and put it under the first strand, grab the second strand and pull it under. I'm just gonna kinda of turn it when I flip it up so that it stays secure. And then I'm going to chain one and that's just gonna secure our circle there. So there's our magic circle and now we're on to round one. And for round one, we are going to work eight single crochets inside the circle. So to single crochet, we're gonna insert our hook into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on our hook. So we're gonna do a total of eight single crochets inside our circle. When you reach the end of the round, we're gonna take that short tail end there and pull it tight to close up that hole there. And then we're gonna end the round by joining to the very first single crochet that we worked with a slip stitch, and then chain one. So we're working into the very first single crochet that we worked with a slip stitch, and then chain one. So at the end of round one, you should have a total of eight single crochets. Now on to round two, we are gonna work two single crochets into each stitch around. So that first stitch is going to be where we work that chain one. So that chain one does not count as a stitch throughout the whole pattern. So we're gonna work our first stitch into that same stitch that the chain one was. And then we're gonna work two single crochets into each stitch around for round two. At the end of round two, our stitch count is now at 16. We're gonna to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round three. And for round three, we're gonna work one single crochet into the first stitch. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of round three, your stitch count should be 24. We're gonna to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch and then chain one. Now onto round four, we're gonna work one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, and two single crochets into the third stitch. And we're gonna re repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then two single crochets into the next stitch.
At the end of round four, your stitch count should be 32. We're gonna join and chain one. Now onto round five. We're gonna work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, and one single crochet into the third stitch. And in the fourth stitch, we're gonna work two single crochets. And then we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of round five, our stitch count is now at 40. We're gonna join and chain one, and now on to round six. For round six, we're gonna work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, and one single crochet into the fourth stitch, and into the fifth stitch, we're gonna work two single crochets. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. At the end of round six, our stitch count is now at 48. We're gonna join and chain one. Now we're on to round seven. For round seven, we're gonna work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, one single crochet into the fourth stitch, and one single crochet into the fifth stitch. And then into the sixth stitch, we're gonna work two single crochets. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. At the end of round seven, our stitch count is now at 56. We're gonna join and chain one. And we're gonna work one more increase round. So for round eight, we're gonna single crochet into each of the first six stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round eight, single crochet into each of the next six stitches, and then two single crochet in the next. At the end of round eight, our stitch count is now at 64. We're gonna join and chain one. So now we're all done increasing. So now we're gonna start working up our bag. It is gonna still increase a little bit until we work a few more rounds. So don't worry, this is not gonna be the width of the bag. So for rounds nine through 15, so for the next seven rounds, all we're gonna do is work one single crochet into each stitch around. So when you reach the end of the round, chain one, sorry, join and chain one, and then just single crochet again in the next round. So for the next seven rounds, just single crochet into each stitch around. So I'm gonna continue on and I'm gonna catch up with you at the end of round 15, and we're gonna change to our next color at the end of round 15. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 15. On my last stitch of the round, I'm gonna start my single crochet as normal. So insert my hook and pull up a loop. But then before I finish that final pull through, I'm gonna drop my current color and pick up my next color. So I'm gonna pick up color B, which I'm gonna be using white. And then I'm gonna finish that final pull through of the single crochet with my new color. And then I'm gonna to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. And now I'm just gonna continue with my color B yarn. I'm gonna cut off my color A yarn because I'm not gonna be using it for a while. So I'm gonna cut that off and then I'm just gonna take that tail end of the color A and the color B. I'm just gonna tie them together. If you want, you can weave those in. I'm just gonna leave them for now and I'll weave them in at the end, but I'm gonna tie them together so that they don't come undone. 
And now we're on to round 16 and I'm gonna carry on with round, or sorry, color B for now. So for round 16, we are going to half double crochet into each stitch around. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet. We're gonna work one half double crochet into each stitch around for round 16. At the end of round 16, our stitch count is still at 64. We're gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet and chain one. Now we're on to round 17, and for round 17, again, we're just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch around. On the last stitch of the round, we're gonna change to color C, so I'm gonna start my half double crochet as normal, but before that final pull through, I'm gonna drop my color B yarn pick up my color C yarn, which I'm gonna be using black, and I'm gonna do that final pull through with color C. And then I'm gonna to join to the top of the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. And chain one. So I'm gonna leave my color B yarn connected since we're gonna be switching back and forth between color B and color C, but I'm just gonna tie those ends together so that the color C yarn doesn't come undone. And now we're on to round 18, and for rounds 18 and 19, we're just gonna work one half double crochet into each stitch around using our color C yarn. So just work one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 19 and on that last stitch of round 19, I'm gonna switch colors. So I'm gonna start my half double crochet as normal, but drop my color C yarn on that final pull through drag up or float up my color B yarn. So that's still attached, so I'm just gonna drop color C, pick up color B, and do that final pull through with my color B yarn. And then join to the top of the first half double crochet and chain one. And now we're on to round 20. And so for rounds 20 to 25, we're just going to repeat what we've been doing. So half double crochet into each stitch around, and every two rounds, we're going to switch back and forth between our color C and color B yarn. So there's gonna be two more stripes using our color B yarn, and then one more stripe using our color C yarn. So I'm gonna continue on, and I'll catch up with you at the end of round 25. At the end of round 25, I'm gonna to change to color A on that last stitch. So before finishing my final pull through, I'm gonna drop color B, pull through with color A, join to the top of the first half double crochet with a slip stitch, and chain one. So now I'm done with my color B and color C yarn, so I'm gonna cut both of those off. You can tie the ends together from color A and color B and I'm just gonna weave in all those ends at the end. So I'm gonna carry on with color A. So now for rounds 26 to 28, I'm just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So for the next three rounds, just work one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm just coming up to the end of round 28. Our stitch count is still at 64. I'm gonna join and chain one. So this is what our bag is looking like so far. We only have a couple more rounds left. So now we're gonna start the round where we're gonna begin making our handles. So we're gonna begin by working one single crochet into the first eight stitches. 
So single crochet in the first eight stitches. And now we're gonna create our first handle. So for my handle, I'm going to chain 32. If you wanna adjust the length of your handle, you can chain as many as you'd like to get the length that you'd like. So I'm going to loosely chain 32. You don't wanna work your chains too tight because we're gonna to have to work back into them. So loosely chain 32 or as many as you'd like for the length of your strap. Then we're going to skip the next 16 stitches. So skip 16 stitches. Then single crochet into the next stitch. So skip 16, single crochet into the next. So there you can see that's about the length of our straps gonna be. If you wanna adjust that chain, feel free to do so. Then we're going to single crochet in the next 15 stitches. So with that one we already worked, that's a total of 16. And then we're gonna make our second strap. So again, we're going to loosely chain 32 or as many as you did for the first one. Then just like we did on the other strap, we're going to skip the next 16 stitches. Then single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into the last seven stitches. So with the one we just worked, that'll be a total of eight stitches. Then we're gonna to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. So including the chains for our straps, you should have a total of 96 stitches now. Now we're on to round 30. We're gonna single crochet in each of the first eight stitches. Now we're going to single crochet in each chain for our strap, but instead of working at the top of the chain, we're gonna be working in the back 
bump. So if you look at the top of your chain, usually we would work in that top strand, but if you look at the back, you see the little bump on the back there. So we're gonna work into those bumps. That's just gonna give us a nice clean edge for our strap. So working in each chain in the back bump of the chain, we're gonna work one single crochet in each chain across. I find that the first one and the last one are the trickiest to get, but then once you just, you can just slide your hook behind the back of the chain and it should catch it. But the first one and the last one are a little bit trickier to get. Once you finish that last chain, there's our strap. You can see it created that nice edge on the bottom there. Now we're gonna single crochet into the next 16 stitches. Make sure you don't miss that first one. It's a little bit bunched up with our chain, so make sure you work 16 single crochets across until we reach our next strap. Then just like we did with our other strap, we're going to be working in the back bump of each chain across for a total of 32 or as many chains that you worked for your strap. So again, just work in the back bump of each chain across. When you're done working into the chain, we should have eight stitches left. So we're gonna single crochet in each of the last eight stitches. Then we're gonna to join to the top of the first single crochet and chain one. So your stitch count should be 96. So we're just gonna work two more rounds. So now we're on to round 31, and we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. At the end of round 31, our stitch count is still 96. We're gonna join and chain one, and we're gonna work one more round. So now we're onto round 32, and we're just going to slip stitch into each stitch around. So try and work your slip stitches loosely so that it doesn't cinch up the top of the bag. We're just gonna slip stitch into each stitch around. That's gonna create a nice edge around the top of our bag. So just slip stitch in each stitch around for round 31. When you reach the end of the round, you can join and chain one, and then we're gonna tie off our yarn. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and leave a little bit of a tail long enough that I can weave in that end. So now you all, all you have to do is weave in all your ends on the inside of the bag, and then here is our Brecken bag. 
Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this pattern. Don't forget you can find more free patterns on my website, theturtletrunk.com, as well as the ad-free, easy-to-print patterns in my Etsy shop and on Ravelry. If you want to show off photos of your finished creations, be sure to take me on Instagram and Facebook so I can see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.